Okay. Okay. So hi guys. Um, welcome to lesson two of our Roblox Studio class. And today, actually, we will be building something. We'll be building an obby game. Um, I showed you guys last class what an obby game is. It is like you jump on different blocks to reach a different place. And today, um, this is what we're going to do. So, okay. And besides from that, we will, we are going to learn about um, properties and Explorer, which are different some parts uh, in Roblox Studio that will help you build your project. So we are going to learn about that as well. Um, is someone drawing on the screen? Is it is it Justin or some someone? Um, what are you what are you drawing? Okay. Oh, uh, I think you opened your annotation. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's start. So first, um, can you guys open Roblox Studio? So just open up Roblox Studio. Mine is, can you guys see this screen? I opened my Roblox Studio already. And then you can see this is a starting screen and make sure your Roblox Studio is in English. So because our class is in English, so you can follow with me if your Roblox Studio is in English as well. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a minute to go inside Roblox Studio and go to this screen. So just one minute to load up your Roblox Studio. You might need to upgrade it. And if you do, just wait for it to upgrade. Don't close Roblox Studio. Wait for it to upgrade. And then when it finish, finishes upgrading, then um, it will automatically open Roblox Studio. So, and then you'll get to this screen. Okay, just uh, maybe a few more seconds. And then after you're on the screen, you can just click on. Um, so basically we're going to build something like this. So you can see how Roblox has gave us a an obby template, but then we are not going to use that template because then you will not know how to build it. So we are going to make it from a base play um, from scratch, okay? we're not going to use a template because then you don't learn anything. So just open up the screen. Okay, I think, have you guys all opened up Roblox Studio? Just react with thumbs up or just say yes if you opened it up. Yes, Vincent? Leo, did you open it? Yeah. Okay. No, wait me for a second. Okay, okay. All right, we'll, we'll wait for you because we only have three students today, so I can't wait for you. All right, so while you're opening Roblox Studio, I'm just going to talk about something else, okay? We're not going to do anything yet. We'll just talk about something, okay? So there is something you need to learn in Roblox Studio that is going to be very important, okay? So it is called referencing. It might be a new word for you, but I have an example for you down here that I'll teach you on how to understand this concept, okay? So basically, um, think about how you can find something. So think like a house, okay? And let's say you met an alien, and then the alien came to you, and then he asks you, um, where do you live? And you would say, like, I live in a house or your address, right? But then the alien would be very confused because he would say, which one is house? I can't, I don't, I don't know what house it is. Like, it's too big because the alien lives in space. Oh, sorry. The alien lives in space. The alien doesn't know which house you're talking about. And... This is kind this is the same thing for Roblox Studio. Like let's say you have a part and then you need to tell Roblox Studio what part this is so you can um so you can find it or you can use it in a script, right? Because in a script we can change something about that part or make the part do something. 
And then in order for you to tell that part to do something, you need to first tell Roblox Studio which part you're talking about, right? So it's the same thing in here, where I'm just gonna teach you the basics on how to find something inside Roblox Studio. So um, let's say you want to tell the alien that you live in a house, but you want to make sure that the alien knows exactly which house, right? So first you tell the alien that you're, that you live on earth, right? So first you tell the alien, okay, so the house is in earth. And where is earth? Earth is in space. Space is a big thing. So, okay, so I think you guys have all opened up Google Studio. I'm just gonna kind of like guide you through it. I'm just gonna open this project first. And then, so, what is space in Roblox Studio? Like the big thing that has everything inside it. Well, space is basically workspace, right? Like, you know, everything is in space, but then and in Roblox Studio, everything is in workspace, right? It's in here. Because you see this like little earth icon, that's the workspace. So basically everything that you see in the screen right here, it's in the workspace. For example, this font location, I'll talk about it later, but it's basically, you know, it's a thing, right? You can see it and the space plate, it's on the workspace. So you can think of it like an earth in a space. It's something inside a bigger thing. And then the house is the same thing. A house is inside earth. So then let's say we have a workspace and then we have a base plate. Base plate is in workspace, right? So maybe this is earth. And then if I create a part, oh, I'll teach you guys how to do it later, but let's see, I create a part. Okay, whatever. So basically like if I create something inside that base plate, then that thing belongs to the thing on top of it. So you can see here how it goes inside. Like for example, there's a workspace and then there's a base plate and base plate is part of workspace. So. That's basically referencing. It's how it's like a big thing and then something inside that big thing and then it gets smaller and smaller until you find exactly what you want to. So to understand this concept better inside Roblox Studio, um, we are going to actually like use something in Roblox Studio that will help you um, find this kind of like big thing and small thing concept. So um have you guys all opened up roblox studio Leo, did you did you open it sure okay so yeah so let's teach you about how the works the explorer here is related to um the referencing thing okay so first of all what is an explorer so an explorer is a place it's like a list of all the objects that is in your game. And so it is a place to find all the things in your game, right? Like if you have a part, if you have a screen button, or if you have like um, a character, they're all going to be part of the Explorer. And I'm just gonna teach you really quick how to open it. So um, once you open Roblox Studio, the Explorer should be already opened. So like if you didn't close anything, like you didn't press the X, like this is your original screen. And then let's say you don't have toolbox open or none of these, you should be around something like this. And then the Explorer is going to be on the right side. It's gonna be a, this small thing right here. So it's already going to, going to be open. But if you want to open it yourself, so let's say you close it, right? There's nothing here. How do you open it? First, you go to view, it's on top here. And after you click on view, you go to the left and then you should see the Explorer button. And after you click on Explorer, then you will see Explorer up here on the right, okay? So let's take a look at this. So step one, click view. Step two, click Explorer and step three, you should be able to see Explorer on the right over here. Okay, a few more seconds. I'll show you guys how to do it inside Roblox Studio. Okay, all right. 
So first we click on view. It's on the top here. You can see the file, home model, view. So what is view? View is where you can find all your like windows, like all the things you want to open. It's gonna be in here. So let's say you close something like accidentally, then you can open it inside the view. It's where you can find all the different small windows that you can, can use that has different uses, right? So you can see Explorer on the left here, just click on it and it will appear on the right. And then there's also properties. We'll talk about properties very soon, but it's also like very important. So this is how you open Explorer. All right, as I said, um, we are going to, okay, let's see. Okay, so after you open Explorer, let's let's take a look at what exactly is inside here. Um, first, you have the workspace. And like I said, it's where everything belongs. Like, let's say you have this base plate, you have this spawn location. And then remember last class, if you don't remember, I'll teach you again how to create a part. So first we go to home. So we were at view, right? View is where you open all the different windows. Like if you want to open Explorer or if you want to open properties, you go to view. But if we want to do something like creating a part, changing the part color and doing something like that, we will, go, we will be going to home. So home is where you can find many different buttons that can help you create something um, inside this space here. So first let's create a part. So just click on it and then there will be a part right here. Um, we are not going to do anything with the part yet, but take a look at Explorer right here. See, see this? After we create this part, then the part object, the name of the part is under workspace. So you see this like little arrow? It's like a like down triangle. So that's like a list, right? So you can close it. So what is what this means is that something like the camera terrain, everything inside here that you can close with a small triangle is part of the workspace. So basically like my concept right here, everything, every planet like Earth, and if you know Jupiter, like Mars, they're part of space. So this is the same thing. All of these things are part, it's inside workspace. Everything is inside workspace. And this part, which we just created, it's right here, is going to be part of workspace. Um, do you guys have any questions? If you have any questions, you can ask right now. Um, if you don't, we can move on. Okay. So, yeah. So all of these are part of workspace, right? And so what if we want to create like the house? Like for example, um, we want to make something inside another thing that's part of another thing, right? Like if there's space and there's earth and then there's like house. So there's like this thing is inside this, this thing and then it goes on, right? So, Let's say you want to make two parts and then we can make another part. And now we have two parts. And what we need to do is like, if you want to make these two parts together into something, into one thing, then you just, um, let's say you just right click it. So you know how to right click, you right click, and then you go to here, group as a model. So when you press this, uh, I'll show you guys how to do it later, but as well, but you can see how we created something called a model. So a model is like, it's like, it's like a bigger thing that contains two parts. So you see this little arrow down arrow that I showed you earlier. That means everything under this, so we can get it inside everything that goes inside of one inside of one space. Then these stuff are part 
of the thing that's on top of it. So it's on it, it's belongs to the model. It's inside the model. So now if we move the model, and if you forgot how to move something, it's in home, and then you click on move. And now you can move it. You can move two parts together, right? When, and what if we move the part outside of the model? So it's part of the model. Now we make it part of the workspace. So now the part can be moved individually. You can move one part and then the other part is going to be part of the model. So it's two. And then if you put it inside the model, now it's one thing. It becomes one thing. And now you can move the model together, the two parts together. And if you create many parts like, like this, you see how I created like a bunch of different parts. And then now they're all part of the workspace. So you can just like move them one by one. But then let's say you want to move all the parts together. Then you go to Explorer and then you find all the different parts that you created. And then to select all of them, you click on one part and then you press shift on your computer. You hold shift and then you click on another part. And now you see how we selected multiple parts, right? So we have one part and then sh hold shift and then click on another part. And now we, we are selecting all of these different parts. You can see when you select something, there's like a blue like line around the part, which means that we are currently, we are selecting the part, we are changing it. And now we can pull all of these parts by dragging it into our model. So now all of different parts are part of the model and the model is part of the workspace. And remember the workspace is the big thing, right? Everything is going to be inside the workspace. And so this is like kind of like the space and you can have like earth and then you have like the different houses, right? It's like It's like one thing inside another thing. So now we can kind of move the model around like this. Okay, you get the idea. All right, so that would be how to use the Explorer. And yeah, so let's say another use is like, let's say you can't find this part anymore, right? So let's say I the part is beneath the ground. It's beneath the base plate right here and then you can't see it anymore so how do you find it well that's when you can use the explorer when you go to the explorer even though you can't see the model like it's not here you can't really click on it but when you go to workspace here you can find the model model inside the workspace right and when you click on it inside explorer then now you can see it and you see it's beneath the ground so that's why you can see it in this screen, but you can see it in, in the Explorer. And now you can move it up. So it's visible again. Okay. And yeah, that's basically how to use Explorer. Vincent, do you have a question? My Roblox studio is glitching really bad. I just accidentally jumped out of my car in a gravity coil and I got sent flying and then it said gameplay bots and then everything just flashing. I mean the whole studio just flashing. Oh really? Um can you send me like um okay try closing the studio and reopening it. Try closing it and then reopening it and see okay. if it works. And if it doesn't work, um um, take a picture. Do you know how to take a screenshot? Like take a screenshot. Yeah. yeah. And then send it um, into WeChat and you can send it to your mom first and then tell your mom to send in WeChat. So then I can see why it's glitching. Okay. Okay. All right. So well, you don't really need to use Roblox Studio. Just try closing it and then reopening it. And then because we will be using Roblox Studio very soon to build like an obby game. Okay. All right. So that's Explorer. It's like 
to like sum up. You can use it to find everything in your game. And then remember if there's a space that goes in and then you can see this little arrow thing, like this workspace, that means everything beneath here, everything that is like dented inside that goes one space in, that belongs to the workspace. And the same thing for the model, you can see how the parts are goes inside. Well, these parts are going to be part of the model, right? The model is like a big thing that contains all the parts. And now you can move it together because everything is part of the model. Okay, let's move on to, all right. So if you guys, um, you guys can take a screenshot of this or I can, I will send the slides into the WeChat group later. So then you can look at how to open Explorer if you don't have it open, okay? All right, next, um, I'm just gonna talk about properties first. All right, so remember when I said that in view, remember when I told you about view, other than Explorer, there is another thing called properties, which is next to Explorer. You can see this is Explorer and you can see the description and view a list of objects in the workspace. And this is view properties of objects. So what is properties or what are properties? All right, um, that brings us back to the example here. So if you look at the slide here, can you guys see the slide? Yes. You can see that there are two things right here and they're very different, right? They're very different. So one of them is like, a. do you know what this is? It's like a blue bowling ball, right? And then you can see this guy here. He's like a Squid Game character. Have you guys watched Squid Game? Yes. It's a it's a really good show. And then it's it's like a character, remember? It's like the guy who it's like it's like the guard who can kill all the like okay, I don't know. I don't think you guys have watched Squid Game, but it's really popular. Basically, but you know that this is a character. It's like a human who can like walk around and do stuff. And like this guy is very different from the ball here, right? But they have one thing in common. is It's that they are both objects. They are both something inside the game that have properties. So properties are basically things about that object, right? You can see first, let's say one property of the blue bowling ball is that it has color, right? And what color is it? It's blue. So blue is something about this object. And then what is its shape? It's a sphere, right? How many holes does the ball have? It has three holes, one here, here, and here. And the number of holes it has is three. And these are different properties of the ball. A ball can be round, right? It's round and then it can be a blue ball or a red ball, but this ball is blue. So it's color, which is a property of the ball, is that it's blue. And then on the right, you can see the character. What are different properties about that character? Well, the character has red clothes, um, it has a gun, it is human, right? It's a character. It can be an animal, but this guy is a, is, it's a human. So these are things about this object that you can change in the game. So let's um, find properties inside Roblox Studio. So on the right, on the left, on the left, you can see this picture, right? This picture is a picture of a properties which is inside Roblox Studio. You can open it like in here and then you click on a part and then you can see the properties here. But then I took a screenshot of properties of this red brick and then it's right here. And then remember the example with the blue bowling ball? 
it has color, shape, and the number of holes, right? Well, look at what's here. So first, remember that properties are things about this red brick that we can change, right? So number one, you see brick color. So that's the same thing as color. And the color is red. It's really red, right? And cast shadow means that it will have a shadow. And it it's now like selected as yes. You can see the tick. That means it's yes, there is a shadow. So what if I don't want a shadow? I can just untick this, just click on that, and then it will become like a white square. And then that means that it's not going to have a shadow anymore. So you can change it. And then this is another color. And the material, is it wood? Is it rock? Is it like metal? Is it snow? So right now it's rock, which means that this red brick is actually a red rock, right? Because the material here is rock. So then you can see the like the black dots, like the texture, like the black things on this brick. So it has like um like a rock texture. It has it's basically a rock inside Roblox Studio. And the transparency, you don't have to worry about it. And then all the data stuff, you don't have to really know. Just know that you can change these. Like the color, shadow, material are the most important. And then, yeah, let's try changing it inside Roblox Studio. So let's delete the model. We don't need it. And then let's make a new part. Remember, you can create a part by clicking on part here, or you can go to works workspace, I mean, Explorer, and then you go to this workspace icon and then click plus. You can see a little plus sign here. After you click on it, you can see the part, right? And if you don't see it, just type part inside. My keyboard doesn't really work, but um, you can type part inside here, maybe it's Yeah, okay, so you can type part. And after you type part, you can see the part here. And then when you click on it, the part will go inside workspace, right? So now we know that this part is part of workspace. And when you click on it, you see the properties in here, right? You can see the brick color. You see the shadow. You see the color. And this is what's here, right? So I, this one's a red part. So then the brick color is red. And then this part is gray. So the color here is gray, right? And then you can change it by clicking on this button or you can change it by clicking it here. And then you can select a different color. Just zoom in. So now it's like a light blue brick, and then we can change the color. Um, you can also change the color on top. You can see the color button here, or you can change it by clicking on brick color. So you can change it any way you want. So I'm just gonna click here. So you can just click on this and then you can change the color of it, maybe like a really red, like the, in the example or you can change it into like a blue. So I'm gonna change it into a blue color. So now it's gonna be a blue brick and the material you can do something, anything you want. Let's do like a snow. It doesn't really change. Let's do neon. Neon is really cool. So if you go inside material, you can find neon right here. And when you click on neon, it's like glowing. So that's pretty cool. And then when you have like a lighter color, I think it will work better. So yeah, you can see now the part is like glowing because it has a neon material. And if you change it to like ice, it's not gonna be glowing because it's not the same material. So this is how you can change things about the part. Um, and Remember, all the things are changing here. It's something about that part, right? 
So it's the pro a property of the part. And that's what that's the word we use. It's a property. And then you can just say it's something about this part that makes it the part we're looking at right now. And yeah. Oh yeah, how do we make it bigger? Um, remember, maybe someone um isn't in last class, but then you can change the size by going to scale and then dragging it, right? That's um what I taught you guys last lesson. But then there are more ways to change the size. It's by going down the properties. Remember, properties um is everything about the part, and of course that includes how big the part is, right? It's a small brick, it's a big brick. That's something about the part. So then we can change the size and let's make it like a really big, really big block. And you can see how there's like three numbers, right? You might be thinking, why is there three numbers? Um, That's because in the real world, you can't really change the size of something with only one number. So remember in math, you were taught X, Y, and Z. And if you don't never learn that in math, let me show you. You see how there's like six arrows in here. And then there's like the red arrows, the blue ones and the red, and the green ones. They each mean one direction, right? So it's up, down, um, right, right, left. And then it's like front, back. And when you press scale, you can also see this. I can move it so it's so it's more thin because I changed it on the left and the right. Or I can make it like a more longer by changing the front and the back, right? And then I can change if it's tall or not by going up or down. So you see how I can move the part three different ways by going up down i can go the press on the red one and now it's like really like really thick and really thin and i can click on the blue one and it goes like really short and really long right so that's why there's three numbers one for each direction and then let's say i just want to make it bigger i can just type in three big numbers and if I want to make it even bigger, let me just type in three, a hundred. And remember to put a comma between each number. So then Roblox Studio knows that you're typing a different number, right? Because if you just type hundred, a hundred, a hundred, that's not going to do anything because Roblox Studio thinks that's one number. And to make it three numbers, you just type a comma between them. And now, the block is very big. And a bigger number, of course, means it's bigger. And if it's a smaller number, like it's one to three ones, it's like really small, right? Because that basically tells you how long, how tall it is. Um, do you guys have any questions? You can do this while I'm talking. So then um you know, so then you can practice, right? Practice it yourself. So yeah, that's how you um, change something about that part. And then, oh yeah, let me also show you one really cool thing. So in here, you can see um, if you scroll down, if you go down here, you can see this part and then you can see the anchored. So it's A-N-C-H-O-R-E-D, anchored. And what does that mean? Anchored means if it's it will fall down or if it will not fall down you know gravity gravity makes everything go down right so let's say if i don't i don't want there to be gravity on this part so it which means that the part will not fall down i can just click this and if it's yes remember the blue tick means it's yes and if it's yes then that means the part is not going to fall down. And let me just make the part a bit bigger. Remember, you can just type it in and then let's move it a bit up by 
dragging the green arrow. And you can see how the part is, it's not on the ground, right? So if it's in our real world, it should fall down, right? But let's see what happens when you go in the game. Remember, if, when, if you want to go in the game, you can click on the play here. Once you click on it, then you will go inside the game because we are not in Roblox. We are not playing the game right now. Now we are playing the game. So I go here and look, the part is not falling down. You can go beneath it and you can look up and you can see how the part is like floating on top, right? And we now you can see I'm like walking around, right? That's because I'm playing the game. And basically I'm testing, but if you want to edit something, if you want to change something, you can't change it when you're playing something. So you have to stop first because now I'm playing. And if I want to stop, this big red rect rectangle square will stop it. So I press stop. And now I'm back in Roblox, I'm back in editing. So now I can change things. And now, now remember, remember the part was floating, right? It was not on the ground. Now let's untick this. Anchored, it was, it's yes right now. Let's make it no. So which means this, um, it's empty, right? Okay, now let's see what happens. And now I'm playing the game again by clicking here, or you can click here. It's the same thing. So now let's see what happens. Let's wait a few seconds. Do you have, guys have any questions? If you have any questions, you can type it. Um, let's see. Yeah, you can type it in the chat or you can ask me. It's both are fine. Um, we are going to make the obby very soon after I talk about one more thing. So then, yeah. Okay, now you see how the part landed on the ground? It was floating, right? It was on top, but now is down because I um I didn't take the anchor. The anchor is not ticked, which means that gravity will now um affect this brick. Um then that makes it fall down. So now it's falling down. All right. Remember, press the red 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 square to stop. And now we're back to the home screen. And this is where you can change things, right? Remember when you click play, you're inside the game. So you can't change anything. You're like testing, right? You have to press stop. Okay. So that's basically property explained. And then to open it, it's the same thing. Remember when I talked about the Explorer, first you click view. And then you click properties, and then the explorer is right next to it. Explorer properties, you can click both. And when you click both, they will appear on the right. Explorer properties, right? Explorer properties. And then show you one more time. There's nothing on the right. You click on view, properties, explorer. And exp I'll explain to you one more time what they mean. Explorer, basically a list of everything inside your game, right? And rem remember when it's one space in, that means it's part of the thing on top of it. So let's say these are all one space in. What's on top of them? It's the workspace. So these objects, camera, terrain, part, they're part of workspace, okay? And then when you click on something inside Explorer and it goes blue like this, that means you're selecting the part. You're selecting that object and you can change the properties inside here. Or you can just click on it, right? You can just click on it right here. If you click on it, it's the same thing. Or you can click it here, okay? So that's basically Explorer and properties. And um, some other things just to teach you two new things about Roblox Studio. What's a spawn location? A spawn location is where you start in the game. 
So when you click play, you are going to spawn. Spawn means you go. It's where you are at, where you um the position you go when you when you go inside the game. So spawn means going inside the game, and then your character um spawn is like goes inside the game and. Basically, when you press play, your character will spawn inside the game. And you can see here, this is a spawn location. And if we change where it is, then we can change where you spawn. Basically, where you appear when you go inside the game. So now you see how we're like right here. We Then when we click play by clicking home and then play, then we will spawn will appear in the game on top of this spawn location. And now let's say we want to spawn in the air. How do we do that? We rate, let's say we want to spawn here. That's the ground, we want to stomp, spawn on top. So now you can see how we're on top. And then remember um, how we don't want this part to go down. We don't want this spawn location to like fall on the ground, right? So how do we make it um, stay in the air? That, then we have to, remember you have to tick anchored. If you tick anchored, it's gonna stay in the air. If you untick, it's gonna fall down, right? So we just have to tick it and now it's going to stay. And when you press play, you can see how we always appear on the spawn location, right? We always appear on the sun thing. That's where we'll spawn. And now you can see I'm in the sky. And that's because we moved this part on top, right? We moved it on the, in the sky. So now I'm on top, I can jump down, right? You can see it's on top. And we can see the part right here. Everything is here. Okay, let's just press stop. And a humanoid, so that's spawn location. It's the place you start. It's where your character appear in the game. And what about a humanoid? A humanoid is basically like um, like the bone or like a body um, of a Roblox character. And you can see this character is not very good, right? It's like very basic. There's like two rectangles, it's arms. And now you can make like more complicated or or better looking um humanoids, right? And I'm not going to, you don't have to know how to build this yet, but let's just make a character to show you. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, well. So now this one's also doesn't look that good, but there's like many different types of Roblox character. And this one's like a more blocky one. It's like you have this block as your arms. This one's a bit thinner. You can see the arms are still kind of bad, but they're like circles. Um, I don't really know how to, let me see if I can generate one. Hmm. Oh, okay. This. this is pretty good so that's like the new roblox character and it actually looks quite good it actually looks pretty good so this is a character and there are many characters in the game it's basically like a body so if you want to make like a human inside your game you can always just use humanoids so i'll talk about these later but just know that what a humanoid is. And they're like different characters. You can see this guy and this guy, they're like humans, so they're humanoids. Okay. Just gonna delete them for now. Just delete. Just press delete to delete something. Okay. All right. Now, um, so the next 20 minutes, we only have about 20 minutes left. Do you guys all have Roblox Studio open? Um, we are going to make a Navi game. So just follow what I do. And then if you um like miss a, if you miss the step, you can watch the recording, right? 
I'll share the recording. So we want to make something like this and something like this. That's the um, Roblox template. It's you can get it for free, but then we are going to make one ourselves. Okay, so how do we do it? Well, first, let's just delete everything first. Um, you can see the spawn location. Let's delete that. In your workspace, see the base plate? We don't want it anymore. We're gonna delete it, so delete. And now you can see it's completely empty. Everything is empty, right? Is everyone following? Vincent, Jack, Justin, Leo, are you guys here? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. We're going to make the obby game now, so you should listen carefully. And if you miss a step, it's going to be kind of hard to build it yourself. So just listen. Now we click on a part. We always want to make a part first. So remember where we can find a part? Press home and you press part, right? You can put a part right here. And now it's too small for someone to stand on. So let's make it bigger. Remember, you can change it by pressing scale, right? You can drag it. And now let's make this rectangle. Now it's pretty good, right? And remember one very important thing, okay? Remember the anchored? You always have to take this. In an obby game, you don't want everything to fall down, right? If everything falls down, everything fall down, you die. So you must go down in properties, click on the part, go down, 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 down. When you see the part and then you see the anchor, right? You always have to take it. This always has to be blue. So then your part doesn't fall down. If it's anchored, if it's ticked, then it's not going to fall down. It's going to stay here. So remember to take this. Now you have the part, you can make it a bit thicker. And this part is going to be where the player will start, okay? And we can change the color. So are you guys at this step? Have you guys created a block and it's anchored? Yes, Vincent? I'll give you guys one more minute to finish building the brick. Just remember, click on the part and then make sure you have anchored the part by taking this so it doesn't fall down. I'm just gonna change a color. I'm gonna make it green so then it looks like, remember you can change in the properties. It's everything about this part, right? So I'll change the properties, making it green and the material, I'll change it to like a grass. Wait, it doesn't really change. Oh, it does change. Oh, now it's like grass. That's cool. You know how to create it? Just go to here, material, make it grass. Easy. Click grass. Go to here, find grass. Click it. And now it's like green, right? Very cool. Okay. Moving on. So now we have one brick. The player doesn't really go anywhere, right? It's like on this rectangle. And oh yeah, how do we make the player spawn here? How do we make the player appear on this grass when they go inside the game? Remember when I talked about spawn location, we are going to make a spawn location by clicking on the plus on the sign here, clicking on the plus, and we can find the spawn location here. So I'm gonna show you guys the screen. And when you find it, just click on it. Click on this. So you guys should have made a part by now. Remember to anchor it. And then after you did that, just click on spawn location. And once you click on spawn location, now we know where the player will begin, right? The player will start here. So let's test it, okay? Remember the part, 
has to be anchored. If you don't anchor it, you'll the part will fall down and then you will die in the game. Okay. So let's press play and let's test. And now you see we are on the part. You see we have this part. This is a spawn location, right? And then we spawn, we appeared in the game on top of it. We spawn on top of it. And then we have the grass around us because we just put the part here. And what if I jump down? What if I jump down? When I jump down, I die. Because why did I die? Because Roblox Studio has a setting. So if you go too deep inside, if you go too deep inside, then you'll automatically die. So it's the same thing if I just, so you see how like when I jump down, I go like really down and see on top, I go down. And then this is too low for Roblox Studio. So then you just die. So that's how you die in an obby game. And then you'll respawn. So when you die, you don't, you're not gone forever. You're still in the game. You respawn, right? You reappear on the brick. So I just kill myself one more time. I jump down. And now I'm back. I'm back, right? So you always come back. You don't have to worry about dying. You just pre press stop to stop the game. Okay, now the game is kind of boring. There is only one brick, right? So how do we make more bricks? You can create one more brick by like clicking on part and make one more brick, right? But then you have to do everything again and it's very slow. So how do we make more parts very quickly? So you can see on the left, there's a copy and paste. So you know what? I think you guys all know what copy and paste is, right? You copy something and then you paste something. So um, actually, you don't have to click on copy and paste. You just have to click on duplicate. Duplicate means you make another one. Very simple. You have one brick. When you press duplicate, you make another one. The same one. So. Just you click this, and now you see how we have two parts inside workspace. We have one, and then we have two. But why is there only one part here? Because the two parts are in the same place, and they look like one part, but they're actually two parts, right? So if I press move, and then move it out, now it's two parts, right? So now we have two parts and it's the same part. So then you don't have to change the properties again. You can just use this part directly, right? And now it's a bit too big. So I'm going to make it smaller. So now it's like one block and another block. And hopefully we can jump, right? You don't want to connect them you don't want to put them together because then the player don't have to jump right the player doesn't have to jump you want the player to jump in an obby game so we make it farther apart like this maybe like this now it's harder it's harder for the player to jump here right so um do you guys have any questions about this part Yes, no. No questions? Okay. No. Okay. So now we have one part. We have two parts. So let's continue. Let's duplicate, press this, and drag, right? Move it out. One more part. Let's make another one. And let's not do squares anymore because they're boring right let's not do a rectangle let's do like um okay let's duplicate one more let's move it here right so what should we call it? let's not make this uh um rectangle remember when i said um 
a shape is also a property. So you can change the shape of this part as well. And when you go to properties and then you go down, you see how in the part it's beneath anchored. So you see anchored. This is what makes the part, part fall down. If it's empty, then the part will fall down. So now it's not going to fall down, but beneath it, we have the shape. So what is the shape? A shape, the shape, it's basically what it looks like, right? If it's a rectangle, if it's a sphere, so we can change it. So right now it's a block. A block is a rectangle. It's, it's like a square. It's like has sharp angles, right? We can change it into like a cylinder. Ooh, now it's more fun. So now we have like a round thing. It's going to be harder for the player to stand on a round thing, right? And let's make it like longer to here, right? And now let's copy one more of this block by pressing duplicate on the left, click on it and then move it, All right? Now, so let's say I want that, that this is my obby. I want to finish this obby. If the player arrives here, the player wins, okay? So how do we tell the player that this is the ending? Um, to If you want to show a message, then uh, it will need coding. And I will teach you guys how to do coding later. But right now, I'm just going to make it red to show that this is the final place. And let's make it neon, like the material to make it like glowing. And I'll tell the player that this is going to be the ending of the obby, right? This is going to end here. If the player gets here, the player wins. And let's move it here. All right, let's try the obby. So this is my obby. You can look at it from top. We have one big brick, or two small bricks, a cylinder, and then we have this glowing brick to show that the obby ends and the player wins when the player comes here. And then we have a spawn location, which makes, makes sure that the player goes into the game and appear on top, right? So let's click on play right here. Now, Okay, let's play our obby. So first we are on top of the spawn location, normal. And now we have to jump. If you want to jump, press space, space bar to jump, right? Let's see if we can make the jump. Oh, so that's one jump. And now I've jumped on this brick. You see how it's not falling down? It's not falling down because I anchored the part, right? I made the part anchor to true. So this the part is not going to fall down. I'm gonna do another jump. And now I'm on this brick. So I just traveled all the way here and one more jump. I don't want to go down, I'm gonna fall. So I'm just gonna walk in a straight line. And I finished the obby. So this is how you build an obby, a very simple one, right? If you want to um, make um, a, a harder one, you can do it as well. So what if the player fails the obby, like the player falls down, right? So let's see, the player jumps from here and no, the player falls down and the player dies, right? But the player goes back to the original spot in here because Roblox doesn't just kick you from the game if you die, right? So now you can try the try the obby again. And if you if you win, then you win, right? Okay. Let's stop the game. And now, and I've just created a very simple game. And you can do it as well. So I think that's nearly the end of the lesson. So yeah, this is how you create an obby.
Do you guys have any final questions for this project? This is going to be our homework, by the way. I'm going to show you the details. Um, if you can, create this obby for homework and then send a screenshot um, on WeChat to show that you finished it. And if you don't have time, that's fine. But I, um, if you do have time, just make sure you do it because the course is going to get harder later on. So it's good that you get some practice, right? Okay, this is a very simple obby. You only have to do this. It takes like 10 to 15 minutes to make it. It's very simple. There's only like four blocks. So, all right. And if you wanna make something more complicated, you can see like this obby is like way better than mine. It has a bunch of different shapes. And, and this one's like a bit better. It has more blocks. You can make more blocks if you want to, right? All right. Oh yeah. One more thing. Um, so if you forgot something, like let's say you forgot where the Explorer is, right? Um, first you, sh you should find the slides. The slides are going to be on WeChat. So you can look at it and, or you can, um, go on YouTube or go to online and search it, like search on um, how to place a block or something. Or you can ask me and I'll tell you the answer, but um, it's good that you search somewhere else, right? So you can find it yourself and then you can remember it better. So I suggest you try to find the solution yourself first and then you come ask me, right? So then you learn like something more. Okay. So for homework, um, first make the first homework is to like make an obby game and remember the thing I just made right here. This is an obby game. You only have to do this. If you only have like three, like one, two, three, and then you end, that's also fine but you can make it like way better like this is not a very fun obby and just look at the previous picture this one's really fun right if you can make something like like with more bricks and harder by making like the distance longer right you don't want to make it too long like if i just move it like to here the player can't jump from here to here. It's too far, right? You can't jump from here to here. The player is gonna, the player cannot finish. So you don't want to make it too hard. So the player dies every time. You want to make it um, just hard enough, right? So the player can finish it, and but it's gonna take him a lot of time to finish it. So that's how you build a good obby game. Remember the player, finishes by jumping. So you want to make parts like far apart, like they have to, they can't be connected or else the player can just walk, right? So yeah. And the first task is to make an obby game, have at least five parts, just put at least five parts. Remember, if you have one part, you can duplicate it by pressing here and then you'll make a new one, right? So you don't have to do the whole thing again, just copy and paste. Copy, or you can press duplicate. Duplicate helps you make it automatic, helps you just copy and paste, right? This makes a new brick immediately. So first is to make an obby game, have at least five parts, so you can go way over five parts put all of the parts in a folder called obby. Oh yeah, so how do you put them in a folder? First, you click on the plus sign and then, so everything you want to make or you want to make a new one, you just have to um, click, click on the plus and then make a folder, right? You just have to click on the plus and then everything you click next will be a new thing because the plus means to add something. So now we can add the folder. So now I created the folder and 
remember how to select other parts. Click here and then hold shift, shift, and then now you selected everything and just drag into the folder. And now everything's very neat because you can close the arrow and you can name it by going to the name. Remember when I talked about properties? A name is also a property, right? The workspace is called workspace. The name is a property. A folder can be called folder or you can change it, right? I, I'm gonna name it obby. Can change it to anything you want. So now I have a folder called obby with all the different parts inside it. If you don't want to put it in a folder, you don't have to, but um, I re recommend you to put it in a folder so it looks better. Remember you can create it by going to here, press the plus, and now you can create a part or a folder, right? Make a new part or a new folder. And then just put everything inside the folder and you finish everything you, you need to. So the first task is to make an obby game. If you want to take a screenshot, you can and upload it onto WeChat. And the second task is to, it's a challenge. If you finish a challenge, um, I'll be very impressed is to build a house with all of the Roblox parts. And you should put it in the folder called house as well. So remember, I taught you that there's different shapes. There's like a part. And if you click on the arrow down here, you can see different shapes as well. You can make like a, like a circle, like a sphere, right? It doesn't have to be a square. So make it bigger. Right. You can make like a sphere as well. So if you can, it's a challenge. You can make a house for extra practice with Roblox parts. So with everything inside here, you don't have to like take something from outside. Just make a part inside Roblox Studio and upload it onto WeChat. So yeah, it's a, it's a challenge. So you don't have to do it. Just the first one. Make an obby game like this. I'll take a screenshot and upload it um, onto the WeChat group so then you can see what it looks like. And that'll be the end of the lesson. Um, if you have any questions, you can ask. Uh, if not, you can leave right now. And have a nice week. Bye. Bye-bye.